Changing it up for you again today on the Fisherman's Guide. We're back after freshwater fish, largemouth bass. Last time we did this, we were with my friend Randy Deschamps. He's with us again today. He's brought us over here to White's Bayou, right off of the Pearl River. We're gonna work these bayous, throwing some uh, worms and some crankbaits, see what we can find for you. Y'all stick around. Fisherman's Guide presented by Hollywood Casino, Bay St. Louis. Today's show brought to you by Allen Toyota, Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine, Brian's Marine, CCA Mississippi, Egret Bates, Speedo Customs, Gabbard's Auto and Marine Upholstery, Sea to Swamp, The Oaks Golf Course, Main Street Pass Christiane, The Spine Institute, Southern Caliber Apparel, We would also like to thank Ocean Marine Group, Sportsman Boats, and Sport Trail Trailers. Chunky little fish. Yeah, they small, but typical marsh bass. Now, whenever you say marsh bass, you're talking about down at the south down end south of the river, end, yeah. lower end south of the end. river. They don't grow them real big down here, but they grow them feisty, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they get feisty and get a big belly on them. They get bigger down here, though. Now, Randy, we were just talking about, you know, I noticed a little drainage back there, a little ditch, and I asked if they got up in there. What'd you say the water temperature was? Uh, 58. 58 degrees, and they're not gonna get up into that real shallow water. They're gonna be out here on these ledges? On, out on the ledges, your secondary drop. Pull it off of that bank, work it off of that ledge, and as it starts coming down, you know, it's just like speckle trout this time of the year. You got a flat that comes off of the bank where it drops off from there all the way down to the bottom of the canals where you're gonna find them. Exactly. So Randy, you know, wintertime pattern on trout, they move up into these rivers and they move into these bayous. You've got a higher salinity up here than you do during the summer. Does that does that tend to affect your bass? It seems to, it makes it tougher. Make we haven't had much rain lately, so it's really, it's salinity really high up in here. So you got a low river level, salinity's higher, you got really clear water, which is great for the people that are wanting to chase saltwater salt. fish up this way. Makes it a little tougher for the bass, but you know, being that it's a, it's a brackish water estuary anyways, the bass are acclimated to it. They're not gonna leave just because the salinity goes up, huh? No, they'll, they'll stay here. They'll move in and out, off the bank, deeper water. Yeah, they, they pretty much stay there year round. I got you. Just whether they're up, up on the shallow flats or out in the deeper water. Still moving. Oh! I mashed the button. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little bit bigger fish. They're getting bigger. If we can keep that trend up all day, we'll do something. Yeah, he's not much bigger, but a little pretty bit. Pretty little guy. Yeah, pretty, pretty color to him. They're fun to catch either oh, way. Yeah. Definitely. What are you throwing there, Randy? It's a uh, Zoom speed worm. Any particular reason on this color, or that's just what they've been biting? That's what they've been biting. That color really doesn't matter. It's just a what you got confidence in, basically, with them. Uh, this little pin here, that's new to me, considering it's been 10 or 15 years since I bass fished, but right above the weight right there, that's just to hold your weight down on the worm. Hold the weight down on the worm. We're fishing these ledges of grass on them. It kind of keeps it weedless a little better. I got you, all right. Yeah, tell you what, we're gonna keep looking for these bass. Y'all stick around, we'll be right back. Now at Ocean Marine, Triton 220 LTS as low as 41,995. Alumacraft Pro 165 as low as 13,995. 
and Hurricane SS-188 as low as $24,995. Get all this and more at Ocean Marine in Gulfport and Ocean Springs. Hey y'all, I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Pass Christiane. Welcome. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. It's the one and only Players Club for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. The all new Marquee Rewards at Hollywood Casino and Boomtown Casino. Now with even more benefits that you can take with you to exciting destinations like Chicago and fabulous Las Vegas. It's the all new Marquee Rewards exclusively at Hollywood Casino Gulf Coast and Boomtown Casino Biloxi. Randy, I think your last one was a little bigger than mine. A little bit. It's all right, it's a start. That's a start. Can I take him? It's fun either way you talk about it. Pretty little fish. You feel that tick, 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 and then they just start swimming with it. That, that's, that's exciting. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah, it does. You want to kiss him? That worm's rig totally weedless until you set the hook, then it pulls it through there. All we're gonna do is push it right back down inside that body, pull it down, and we're ready to go again. Thank you. Oh, monster. Would be a five pounder, Ronnie. Our uh, getting bigger trend just stopped. <laughs> How do yours get bigger throughout the day and mine get smaller? Secret, man. Secrets of the trade, huh? A little bitty fella. Just goes to show you how uh, aggressive these fish are. I mean, that worm's almost as long oh, as he dude. is. But he's got a big enough mouth to fit it in there. And if they can fit it in that mouth, they're going to try to eat it, huh? No, he's just acting big and bad. Hey, chunky. Little. Man, these things are healthy. Got beautiful coloration on them. They do. Oh, oh I missed mine. We tried for a double. <laughs> yep. That's probably 12 inch fish, 12 and a half inch fish. Look how wide his belly is, right? I know. They're eating good. Now, Randy, whenever you're fishing a tournament, you, uh, I mean, would you start off down on the lower end like this looking for numbers, or? When it's tough, you better best start off down low, try to get a small limit. You get a small limit, like the better fish we've caught today. You can catch bigger fish down here, but they, this time of year, you get you a small limit and then go north, try for a big lunker. A small limit in a tournament. The tournament, that's what, five fish over here? Five fish. At 12 inches. 12 inch fish, right. Then you then you generally run up north and try to cull up from yeah, there. Yeah, cull up. You, you, more, you can catch a three to four pounder down here, but you're more apt to get your lunker up north, up in the woods. Now, get on the wood. one, uh, you know, obviously we're throwing worms right now, but this time of year with these kind of conditions and this water temperature, what other baits would you be throwing? I see we got some crankbaits on crank here. Crankbait should be ideal for this. Uh, just for some reason I haven't been able to get on the crankbait bite. 
but they should be on a crankbait right now. I know some people this time of year throw spinner baits as well. Is that something you use? Yeah, I throw spinner baits some too, but it's, it's tough right now. The weather's been up and down, temperature's up and down, and just the worms are go-to bait. It really changes what those fish want and changes things up a lot whenever you've got big swings in the weather like that. And it, it scatters the fish more. In order to be successful, saltwater or freshwater, you got to find what they want. That's, that's right. Hey, we're going to keep working these bayous. Y'all stick around. We'll be back in just a minute. It's the one and only Players Club for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. The all new Marquee Rewards at Hollywood Casino and Boomtown Casino. Now with even more benefits that you can take with you to exciting destinations like Chicago and fabulous Las Vegas. It's the all new Marquee Rewards exclusively at Hollywood Casino Gulf Coast and Boomtown Casino Biloxi. When I was a little boy, I thought my dad could do just about anything. So it was really hard watching severe back pain take its toll. You know, he's just not the same anymore. Thanks to VaxD, my kids think their granddad can do just about anything. VaxD, helping people get back to life. The newly redesigned 2014 Toyota Tundra comes equipped with a backup monitor, so there's no need for a spotter when hooking up. The 5.7 liter Tundra can tow up to 10,800 pounds, turn on a dime, and has the braking power to come to a safe halt. From the 1794 edition to the TSS off-road package, there's sure to be a configuration you will love, all with standard towing packages. Check out allentoyota.com to see all of our new Tundras. When you think about launching your boat, think Allen Toyota Tundras. Hey folks, back here today for another segment of the Pro Tips. Got a good friend of mine, Gerald Gaspar, with Pure Fishing. We're going to talk to you about the new Revo Beast made by Abu Garcia. This reel just won Best of Show at ICAST. Gerald, tell me about some of the features on this thing. Well, the Beast, they decided to come out with a reel that can handle uh, big fish. They, they have the oversized handles for, for simplicity. They have a a, a dimple spool instead of a, a, a waffle spool for a large capacity of line or even bigger line. Uh, the reel has a, uh, a 22 max drag. Its original design is to handle uh, the, uh, the school, schooling rigs in the, uh, in, while you're fishing, handle the big stripers along the coastline, uh, your trigger fish, your, uh, your bow reds, uh, mangrove uh, snapper. Uh, I'm telling you, this reel will handle just about any job that you can do. It's a low profile, fits in the palm of your hand, uh, seven to one gear ratio. You've got 31, 37 inches of line coming in on each revolution of this one reel. Man, I'll tell you what, can't wait to try to reel one in with one of these. This will put a hurting on a fish. Yeah, the, the worm's most versatile bait year round. It's, uh, my opinion, it's like the uh, live bait for the saltwater fishermen. You know, when it's tough, pull the worm out, fish it slow, and you can usually get you some fish. It's more of a fin there he is. Ah, let him have it too long. It's I'm good at missing them. You're doing a good job of that today, <laughs> partner. Uh, but it's more of a finesse style of fishing. Even if the fish isn't, isn't aggressively eating, you're working that worm real slow right by right. in front of him. He's probably going to pick it up, huh? And that's, they, they can't stand it. It aggravates them. And they just, reaction, they reach over and slap it. Then all you gotta do is actually get the hook set on it, not like me. <laughs> the fish on. Well, I tell you what, whenever they take off swimming towards you like that, they are hard to hard catch up to, catch to up and get with. that hook set. Chunky little guy, something got a hold to him at some point. He got a little scar on his back sure there. Does. You must have ran him over last time you were here. Bird done come down on his back. Yeah, probably so. Stick him. I think I caught Ronnie's fish this time. 
I'm be stealing my fish every day now. That's fine, he ain't bad. No, he's not too bad. Another little marsh bass. It's a pretty little fish. They hit it like they five pounds. Now Randy, for uh, I notice, you know, all of you bass guys, y'all carry a, a lot of rods. You carry as many rods just for you to fish with as I carry for two or three people to fish with. Do you, are you using different weight rods, different action rods for different types of baits? or? Yeah, different, um, like I said earlier, this time of year, they should be on crankbaits. And I'm you assuming you use a heavier rod, rod for that? A lighter rod. Lighter rod. Use lighter action rods for the crankbaits. And when, especially when you're tournament fishing, you don't want to get out and have to keep retying. Yeah. So you got your different weight worm. Usually, we, you and I are both fishing with the same lead and worm today. But usually, I would have a heavier one on one, get it down a little deeper. And uh, how many rods are you starting out with on a typical day for a tournament? Usually about ten. <laughs> <laughs> usually, there's about ten rods on this deck. So it don't give you much room to move around. What about your line? You know, I know last time we fished, I've always got braid on mine. Last time you fished, you were fishing some braid, and today, this rod of yours that I'm throwing has got fluorocarbon on it. Is that just because of the water clarity? The or? water's clear, we hadn't had any rain, and it just, that braided line, you can see it too good, and it's really hard to catch anything. Now, I know that you're using, what, probably a 20 or 30 pound braid whenever you're using it. What is this? fluorocarbon that I'm throwing. Um, 14 pound fluorocarbon. 14? Yeah, 14. I think you have 14 and I've got 17 on this one. We got a little head shaker. That cool water to give up quick. Yep. This one's got a little more yellow to him. On his belly, he's just darker colored than those other fish have been. I'll tell you what, we've been here, what, 30, 45 minutes? 30, 45 minutes. That's probably number 15 we've caught. Yeah, at least. I'll tell you what, for, for a slower day, we're catching a lot of fish. Might not have a lot of size, but we're getting good numbers. Good numbers, especially with no tide movement, water still. You know, we had a front come through last night that changed everything up, dropped the temperatures. Air temperature this morning was 20 degrees less than what it has been the rest of the week. And a lot of people are probably sitting at home because they didn't want to fish today, but you know, I got it on the front front page of my website. Best time to go fishing is when you can. That's it. Sit at home, you can't catch them for sure. No. You'll bring it on this side? I'm gonna try to. Oh yeah, good size red. Asking me about a redfish and that worm. <laughs> you know, during the winter, when of these get up in these rivers, and you can catch redfish, speckled trout, and bass all out of the same spot on the same lure. Well, they probably gonna be the same size. But you just got a chance of. You caught my fish for I me. I caught your fish for you. Yep, another little marsh fish.
I'm a feisty little fella. I tell you what, it doesn't matter how small they are. Whenever you feel that first thump and that line starts moving off to the side, it'll get your heart going. Little guy. That's what we're looking for right there. Yeah, a little better fish. Much better than what yeah. I've been catching. Yeah, that's a good one. A little better than what you've been catching. We're gonna let this little guy get back in there. Pretty little fish, though. Tell you what, these feisty little bass, they have worn this worm out. So while I get this re-rigged, y'all watch this and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Southern Printing out of Pasker Shan, Mississippi has provided us with a very nice t-shirt. It's a great way to show your support for the Fisherman's Guide television show. If you want one, give them a call and order yours today. Hey, I'm Captain Ronnie Daniels with Fisherman's Guide. Today we're here at Cedar Swamp. This is a store that carries what catches fish. For your next outing, fresh water, salt water, inshore or offshore, Cedar Swamp's got the gear that works. The Main Street Association would like to invite you to historic past Christianity. Come play around with us at the Isle Golf Club. Stop by and see us at Southern Printing. Come have a bite with us at Pirate's Cove Restaurant. Dine with us and enjoy the view at Bacchus on the Beach. Come enjoy the new look of the Mississippi Gulf Coast in Past Christian. Hi, this is Kevin with Gabbert's Auto and Marine Upholstery. We're an upholstery shop specializing in auto and marine. If your boat is needing new cushions, canvas, or covers, we have you covered. We also do custom cabinet millwork, fiberglass, gel coat repair, bottom paint, wet sand, and wax. Cars and trucks, we're the local Caskin rep, and we'll turn your cloth vehicle into a luxurious leather ride. Tears, rips, we can replace part or all of your seats. So come see us, Gabbers Auto Marine Upholstery, Pass Road, Gulfport. When it comes to boating, most folks want more features for less cost. And that's what Sportsman Boats is all about. With yacht caliber components, the Sportsman Boats lineup offers bay boats, center consoles, plus tournament class and open cockpit models. To find the perfect fishing machine that puts your family first, contact your nearest Sportsman Boats dealer and discover that with a Sportsman Boat, you can have it all. Hey y'all, I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Pass Christian. Welcome. Forget to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today, Chef Ruben and I are going to reveal one of our top selling entrees. This is an entree that we sell on the lunch and dinner menu. It's the seafood pasta. If you're not familiar with it, it's a bit of a different seafood pasta recipe. It's not a cream based sauce, it's made with a seafood broth. Basically, all we have in it is shrimp, crab meat, mushrooms, tomatoes, a pinch of garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, seafood stock, and a little bit of butter at the end. We're gonna pour it over our angel hair pasta and top it with blackened flounder. Blackened flounder is something that we do here every now and then when we can get fresh flounder. We can fry it, you can blacken it, you can even grill it, even though it is a delicate fish, as long as your grill is hot enough. A lot of people are familiar with black and red fish, but here we blacken everything from chicken to shrimp, flounder. I mean, it's a very, very versatile seasoning. You can go crazy with it. But we're gonna start off by starting to blacken our flounder, because that's gonna take the longest. We're gonna sear it, 
on the flat top with a little bit of butter. As we place this flounder on the flat top, we're gonna start our sauce. We're gonna get a skillet hot, add a little bit of oil or butter, whichever you prefer. We're gonna start with six 1620 size gulf shrimp. Then we're gonna use three ounces of jumbo lump blue crab meat, mushrooms, tomatoes, a little bit of garlic. Now that we have all the ingredients in the pan, we're gonna let it reduce. After that, we're gonna pour the seafood pasta sauce over the pasta. And then we're gonna to top it with this beautiful blackened flounder. Boy, I tell you what, you make this place my wife's favorite restaurant with your Parmesan crusted chicken. Right here, we've got my favorite dish. I get it all the time. Seafood pasta. But he kicked it up a notch for me tonight. He put some blackened flounder over the top of it. Boy, I tell you what, that is great. Y'all come down and find your own favorite dish at Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. 133 Davis Avenue. Check both of us out and like us on Facebook. Hey y'all, I'm Corey Hudson, owner of Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. We're located on Davis Avenue, right here in Pass Christian. Welcome. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and be prepared to get hooked on Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Hi, this is Kevin with Gabbert's Auto and Marine Upholstery. We're an upholstery shop specializing in auto and marine. If your boat is needing new cushions, canvas, or covers, we have you covered. We also do custom cabinet millwork, fiberglass, gel coat repair, bottom paint, wet sand, and wax. Cars and trucks, we're the local Catskin rep, and we'll turn your cloth vehicle into a luxurious leather ride. Tears, rips, we can replace part or all of your seats. So come see us, Gabbers Auto Marine Upholstery, Pass Road, Gulfport. It's the one and only Players Club for the Mississippi Gulf Coast and beyond. The all new Marquee Rewards at Hollywood Casino and Boomtown Casino. Now with even more benefits that you can take with you to exciting destinations like Chicago and fabulous Las Vegas. It's the all new Marquee Rewards exclusively at Hollywood Casino Gulf Coast and Boomtown Casino Biloxi. The Main Street Association would like to invite you to historic past Christian. Come play around with us at the Isle Golf Club. Stop by and see us at Southern Printing. Come have a bite with us at Pirate's Cove Restaurant. Dine with us and enjoy the view at Bacchus on the Beach. Come enjoy the new look of the Mississippi Gulf Coast in Pass Christian. Well, I tell you what, being on the salt water just about every day, it's a dream of mine and I love it. But getting a change of pace, that's a lot of fun too. Catching these bass, finesse fishing with these worms, been a lot of fun. We came over here to a different part of the marsh hoping to find some bigger fish. We found a bigger fish, but it was a redfish. Wrong flavor. Wrong flavor, that's right. Randy, I appreciate you having us out here again today. Folks, if y'all need anything done with your trolling motors work, repair, or need to buy something new, check him out. Champs Outdoors on Highway 53. Thanks for tuning in again this week. Y'all check us out on Facebook, and don't forget to like the page while you're there. We do a lot of updates. The Fisherman's Guide presented by Hollywood Casino, Bay St. Louis. Today's show brought to you by Allen Toyota, Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine, Brian's Marine, CCA Mississippi, Egret Bates, Speedo Custom, Gabbard's Auto and Marine Upholstery, Sea to Swamp, The Oaks Golf Course, Main Street Pass Christian, The Spine Institute, Southern Caliber Apparel. We would also like to thank Ocean Marine Group, Sportsman Boats, and Sports Trail Trails.